Hello folks. Well many of you know at 72 I still roller skate every weekend. I have roller skated all over the world including Japan. I believe it's good exercise plus it's a heck of a lot of fun. I have skated with many of my friends who have now passed and I really miss skating with them. In the 80s, we started skating at Skateway in Mission Viejo, which is now closed. This is Jesse, and see, the records are records. <laughs> So when that rink sadly closed, we began skating at Fountain Valley Skate Center in Fountain Valley, California. And three years ago, I visited and skated there for old times with my friend Jim, who has now passed. Here's some of my friends, and I have met some amazing skaters over the time and take a look at a couple of these guys. Well, this is the now closed Majestic Rink in Arnold's Park, Iowa. They gave me permission to see if the floor was suitable to have a reunion I was trying to get going. It would have worked, but the city sadly said no in the end. It was a great rink with windows around the outside and everything. One of the nicest roller rinks I've ever skated at used to be called Carousel Skate. And under a fairly new ownership, it's now called Skate City, South Dakota. When the Ericsons built it in the 70s, they made it beautiful. With the new owner, it still is beautiful, including a new white smooth as glass floor. It's really a wonderful rink. 
They also host plenty of birthday parties and special events. During the sessions, they have limbos and dice games and backward skates and more. It's a great place to skate. When it was called the Carousel, I actually was allowed to fly my model airplanes, helicopters, and even drive my original Segway, which is for sale around two. So before we do some camera work with that DJI Spark drone inside, here are a few scenes from the Disco Night Dress Contest in 2014. So being a good place to test my indoor flying skills and sort out the DJI Spark, I asked the owner if I could fly the Spark in there after the session. Because I had a pretty good reputation of being coordinated, he said yes and this is how it went. First of all, I was going to fly up over the rink and make a video of the sign outside, but at last there was absolutely no way it would allow me to fly outside. DJI has taken many steps to reduce the risk of accidents with real planes by one, making you take a 20 question test on the DJI app before you can actually continue when you first get it. You know, many questions deal with the FAA regs for drones and safety. Right on the app it stated I was within 5 miles of the Joe Floss Field Regional Airport, which is amazingly even named on the app could not find a way to fly without calling the airport and asking for clearance. After that we went inside to all the activities going on and waited till the session was over and with my friends Riley, the DJ, Brian, Ariel and myself you can see how the spark handled inside with obstacles etc and how the camera worked. First we had the overhead main lights on then dim the lights which are usually on when skating. So here's how it went.
Well, thanks a lot for watching this skating video tonight, folks, and a little bit about the DJI Spark. Please stay tuned because I'm going to figure out the gesture control and see how this thing works outside, being only controlled by hand motion.